Hey, praise the Lord, guys. Evangelist Rob, brother Rob of Rob Woods Ministries. I have one of the faithful people that have been on the channel in the comments live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern. Sister Stasia that brought on P brother Peter. Hallelujah. And she's just going to bear and share her heart. And she was just sharing with me behind closed doors how the women are more feelers. They're more sensitive. They're more into communion, relationship, fellowship with the Lord. Maybe the guys want to do more of the works and more of this stuff. But guys, no one's getting any power or exploits in this hour until we enter into the fellowship and the vine with the Lord. And out of that comes works and power demonstration etc so sister stasia just share your heart from here the lord bless you in jesus name hallelujah thank you brother rob it's a blessing to be here um i i like i was telling um rob earlier i just been in prayer today what the lord wanted me to say so i just pray he gets me out of the way and he uh, just lets the holy spirit take over and um i'm just i'm just i'm blessed to be part of this family um, it's, it's one of, one of my favorite families in Christ to be at because, um, there's not a sense of, there's not a sense of, um, judging here. Everybody's family, everybody loves one another. And no matter if you've been in, in with Christ for, you know, 30 days or whether you've been with him, you know, seven years, it doesn't matter here. He's no, this, this has been a place of no respecter of persons. And I love that. Um, and I'm very honored to be, to be on broadcast with you. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute. I want to grab my Bible. I, I am um, just for a minute. <laughs> um, I got earlier, John 15, verse 16, um, very heavily. Um, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain and whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he shall give it to you. These things I command you that you love one another. If the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world will hate you. And I was telling Brother Rob earlier, I, am, I hear a lot of um, people are, we're struggling, you know, the, the body of Christ is struggling. And I just want to re reiterate that your struggling is not in vain. Every minute ounce of suffering that we go through, the Lord is going to use that for good. Um, I'm walking witness of that. Um, I was in the gutter. I was deep in the gutter, um, without getting too deep into my testimony. Cause I don't want to do that here right now. Um, he, he literally saved me my life uh, multiple times and i'm sure a lot of you have been through the same stuff but i know that um if you're on this channel especially you know with with pastor rob that you're being trained up and just just keep reading the word it's alive and it will come alive in you um he was adamant about abiding in him i think we're we're so used to the religious atmosphere especially in America, I don't, you know, um, and I know it's saturated into other countries too, that religious spirit tells us we got to do, 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 you know, and that's not what he wants us to do. He wants us to be still. He wants us to let the Holy Spirit have dominion and reign. And uh, it's a training. You have to retrain your brain. Our brains are like computers. I'm a research junkie, so forgive me. Uh, I'll try not to get off on a tangent, but but our brains are like computers, you know, what you put in, that's what you're going to get out. And so we have to constantly not speak like the world. If there's, you know, we have to just be still, just be slow to speak. And a lot of times he'll put you in the center of, of a whirlwind chaos, you know, because he wants you to pray for those people. He wants you to intercede for those people because you know how to think, you know, because you've been reading this and you've been spending time in the secret place and, and. I didn't, don't know where that came from, but anyhow, um, another thing he kept telling me today was depression. Um, we're, we're allowing again, the enemy and I, I can't speak for everyone, but, but I know y'all can relate to struggles and trials and a lot of it's in our mind. 
Um, we just have to reprogram our brains to think pure thoughts, to think sanctified thoughts, um, and to let him heal. We don't, we don't allow healing to take place. Um, and when we've had post-traumatic stress, you know, in our lives, or we've had bad things happen to us, abuse, you know, neglect, um, whatever um, has happened, he's going to use that for good. And, and he just wants, he just wants us to let him do the work. He's the surgeon and we're, we're just supposed to receive. And I get very strongly, um, we self condemn ourselves and we're not to walk in condemnation. The saint falls, we get back up. The saint falls, we get back up. And then eventually we can walk a little further. You know, it's like taking baby steps and, I gave him everything. I gave him my family. I gave him my friends. I gave him my entire life. A year ago, year and a half ago, I was dying of cancer. Um, I wanted to die. I wanted to die bad. Um, I, I was riddled with cancer. Um, I was a heavy, well, I've been with the Lord, walking with the Lord for seven years, but um, he saved me, you know, and he saved, he not only saved my life, he saved my heart. He changed me. You know, I'm not that person anymore. And and anytime she tries to come back, the old familiar person, I just tell her to get gone. That's a familiar spirit. And I don't have, I don't want anything to do with that. And a lot of times he'll put triggering things back in your path. And we got to know, we got to let him um, guide us with the Holy Spirit, you know, and I'm just real, real adamant about teaching young girls, um, especially, you know, the, the generations coming up behind us, we got to start teaching them how to, how to think Christ-like, you know, and because they're being, they're being infiltrated, you know, like crazy out in the world and they got to know something different. You know, we can't just sit in our religious bubbles. We got to get out there and do the work, you know, and, and he's real adamant. He's pushing us, you know, especially, especially those of you that know the word, you know, don't be timid. Don't be shy. Just do it. And on, another thing I get real strong, we always have to contend with our flesh you will always have to contend with your flesh. So if he's pushing you to, to minister to children or just to, to go to the grocery store and, and love on somebody or, you know, whatever, don't, don't be, don't back away from that. If you're feeling the Holy spirit prompting, you know, just ask the Holy spirit to take over and, and go for it, you know, cause he wants us to step out of our comfort zones, um, whether we're liked or not, you know, and a lot of times we won't be liked, but, you know, if we're doing the work of the Lord, it's going to pay off. His word never returns void. And I love that. He just, he just showers us with blessings the more that we honor him. And um, that's, um, oh, I wrote this um, about depression. I thought if it's okay, Rob, if we have time. Yeah, well, let's um, do another part. Hallelujah. I okay, okay. The anointing on your voice. So I want you to come back, not with just identifying it, but the solution, which is the anoint, which is how to break depression, oppression. The enemy wants to depress, oppress, and possess, take ground. How do we get free from that? So I'm going to bring you back, but I love what you said about scars and scabs. The Bible says, I think in Leviticus, that you, can, you can't even be a priest if you have scabs, unhealed, places of wounds that are unhealed, which is unforgiveness, which can turn into bitterness, resentment, hatred, envy, strife. Where does that come from? So let's have Amen. you back, hallelujah. I want to do a part two, and I want you to delve into the oppression, depression. Hey, the okay. Lord bless you guys. If you're new, please subscribe. Also stop. We're live Mondays, 9 p.m. By, by, by the glory of God, we're going to be doing a Zoom hopefully in the next month where you're all invited, but we're going to have Sister Stasia back. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you.